Hi, thanks for tuning in. My friend and I have been in Indonesia for several days. We're having a great time. And in this video, I'm going to show some examples of sh my attempt to shoot ultra super macro with a 60 millimeter macro lens, a 1.4x teleconverter, and a plus 10 sub C diopter wet lens over that. And I got some cool eye shots uh, of a mantis shrimp, among other things, and uh, let's check it out. Okay, I'm just going to show the setup that I used to shoot super macro photography of the mantis shrimp and other creatures on this dive here in Lembe. This is my uh, Ike Light House with the 7100 uh, single strobe focus light and I've got the port I usually use for my 105 because and I've got a plus 10 subsea diopter but inside the, 10, the uh, 105 flat port I have a 60 millimeter macro lens, but I also have, let me open this up here, I also have a 1.4x teleconverter at the end of it. So this is going to let me achieve uh, far greater than one to one magnification on the sensors, sensor, my 1.4x teleconverter and then I have a wet external plus 10 subsea diopter at. Okay, let's check out some examples of some cool images of the eyes of the mantis shrimp. These are the two mantis shrimps that I saw in this particular dive in Lembe, and you can see the eyes look a little bit different. This is an eye of a mantis shrimp, one of the coolest eyes. The mantis shrimp is a stomatopod, not a true shrimp, and it's a compound eye composed of thousands of little light-sensitive units called omatidia. Each omatidi has a cornea, a type of crystalline lens, and a rhabdon, which carries information to the brain. Now, they're, they're the green arrows point to this horizontal band, which is actually composed of six rows of highly specialized omatidia, and they're really cool. They're, they have eight different visual pigments, four filters, which further hone the visual pigments. They can see different types of ultraviolet light and two different types of polarized light for a total of up to 16 different types of color or vision if you count ultraviolet and polarized light. Whereas humans have three different photopigments and fishes have four different photopigments. So mantis shrimps have 16 different types of light or color that they can see. However, to be honest, humans actually see more shades of colors because we have higher order processing and more sophisticated ways of processing information from our three photopigments in our brain. But we'll talk about that some other time. So the mantis shrimp has this band of photoreceptors and the eye is divided into an upper and lower part. And the upper and lower part both can be directed toward, toward the same point in space so they can use this eye as a range finder so one eye can almost kind of see stereo vision and judge the distances of things and objects in, in ahead of them and they also have these two little dark spots called pseudopupils which most compound eyes have these represent the portion of the eye which is looking directly at you okay so it's not reflecting light so these spots appear dark and they can move across the eye as the eye moves or as the organism moves now, here's a shot of a mantis shrimp just showing how the eye can move its, rotate its eyes on all six axes. They're constantly scanning the environment. They have a stalk, which you can see here, which allows this eye to rotate. Pretty interesting. All right, let's look at some ultra super macro shots now. Uh, this was with the 60 millimeter macro lens, the 1.4x teleconverter in between the lens and the camera, and then the external plus 10 wet diopter, sub C diopter or close up lens. So this is a shot straight on. The strobe is going, pointing, showing the light right on the, the uh, portion of the eye of the mantis shrimp. You can see the beautiful detail of the individual omatidia. Now here I put the strobe at an acute angle at an oblique angle directly above the eye and you can see the wonderful texture, topography and detail of the individual light sensitive units or, or omatidia on the eye. It looks completely different. And here I was even able to get very close and put my strobe behind the eye so I sort of retroilluminated or backlit the eye. It almost glows from within and again the eye looks different. Very interesting almost abstract uh, image in my opinion. The beautiful thing, as you recall, with super macro photography is that you have very little depth of field, so you really don't have a distracting background. The, the, the background is often non-distracting and even beautiful, and as, as you see in this shot, the nice orange background of a mantis shrimp eye. 
This is probably my favorite shot of the whole trip in Limbe. This is an ultra super macro shot. Uh, really, really great magnification and high resolution. You can see the hexagonally shaped individual omatidia. And on the lower horizontal part, you can see that horizontal band of six rows of highly specialized omatidia. And then on the upper left, you can see the dark spot, about eight or ten omatidia that are very dark, uh, representing the pseudopupil of a portion of the compound eye of a mantis shrimp. So anyway, I just think it's so cool what you can do with ultra super macro underwater photography. You see things you can't even imagine, uh, just an incredible world of detail. By the way, if you're interested, check out my Aquatic Eye book. It's available on my website, theaquaticeye.com, or on Amazon. It's just full of uh, pretty cool images and amazing facts about the diverse uh, world of uh, underwater aqu or aquatic eyes of an various animals. Thanks so much for tuning in.